having said and done lots about cervical cancer, breast cancer, today we will discuss something about another cancer of the female reproductive system, the ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer develops when cells in the ovaries become cancerous. There are three types of cancers that can develop in the ovary. One is an epithelial uh, cell tumors. They come from the outer surface cells of the ovary. They usually occur in the elderly women. The second type is the germ cell tumors. They come from the cells that produce the egg or the ova. The third type is the stromal cell tumors. They come from the tissue cells which hold the ovary together and are responsible for producing the female hormones estrogen and progesterone. What you could feel is a fullness in your tummy, sometimes feeling bloated, early satiety, like feeling full before eating full, urinary symptoms like urgency, frequency, abdominal distension. These could be symptoms. The most important thing is feeling different what, from what a woman usually feels. Your reproductive history has a lot to do with your risks of having ovarian cancer. Being pregnant and carrying a pregnancy to term can really decrease your chances of having ovarian cancer, especially so if it's less than 30 years. Breastfeeding your baby further decreases your chances. Adopting birth control measures like oral contraceptive pills, depo injections, having a tubal ligation will decrease your risk by two-thirds. Gynecological surgeries like hysterectomy, even without removal of ovaries, can decrease your risk by one third. Then what can increase your risk? Taking fertility treatment like clomiphenicitrate for more than a year can increase your risk. Taking estrogen replacement therapy usually after menopause when taken more than five to ten years can increase your risk. Having a familial history of uh, ovarian cancer, breast cancer, colorectal cancer even from your paternal side like father's side can increase your risk. So what are your screening options? Transvaginal scan and a blood test which measures CA125, a protein in blood, have all been considered but are not routinely recommended. Once you are suspected of having an ovarian cancer, your doctor will do the necessary tests and confirm the diagnosis and the treatment will be advised according to your stage of the disease, grade of the disease and your general health. We take a pledge, we'll treat you well.